boys and girls, welcome back to Yoga and Mindfulness with me, Miss Danielle. So for our yoga today, we have a bunny breath. We're going to do a breathing exercise that's really energizing. And then we have a little egg hunt with some yoga poses in those Easter eggs. So we'll do those together. So for our bunny breath, I'm going to take a little stretch and I'm going to come to sit on my knees in hero pose. I noticed an easy pose that my back needed a little break. So I'm just doing a different pose to kind of reset my back. So try out a new pose if you want to for this breathing exercise. As long as you're able to sit up nice and tall with a long, strong spine. So we're going to do this bunny breath. And it's kind of like a bunny that's sniffing for carrots. You know, bunnies have those little twitchy noses. So normally when we breathe in and out, we have a nice flowing breath, like one breath in, one breath out, and it's flowing. For this breath, it's a little different. When we want to calm ourselves down, it's good to do long, slow breaths. When we want to give ourselves energy and focus, we want to do shorter breaths. So this kind of breathing we're going to do today is great for energizing and focus, okay? It's great for maybe when you first wake up in the morning and you really want to get energized. Okay, so we're going to breathe in for four parts. So it goes like this. It's like sniffing in for four parts. Ready? <laughs> and then breathing out for one long part. You can breathe out of your mouth if you want to, like a nice long <sighs> sigh. Okay, so four parts in for short little bursts of inhales through your nose and then one long exhale out of your mouth one long out breath out okay so practice with me it's inhaling for four with four short sniffs exhaling one long breath out nice let's do a few rounds of those sit up nice and tall imagine you're that bunny that you're just trying to sniff out those carrots ready Four short inhales, one long exhale. Do one more. Nice. Now just let your breath return back to normal. Take a moment to notice how that breathing exercise made you feel. It's normal when we control our breath like that, that we can start to feel a little dizzy, a little lightheaded afterwards. But once you let your breath return back to normal, that feeling should go away. But notice that little burst of energy you might be feeling. I definitely feel that. Okay, so now we're going to do our little Easter egg hunt for our yoga poses. I'm going to see if you can look behind me and notice any plastic colorful eggs you see. Maybe step aside, see how many you can find. Okay, ready? We're going to do the poses together and I'll find them. I wish you were here to find them with me, but let's see. Okay, the first one I spot is in the plant. Let's see what the first egg is. So inside there's a yoga pose, then we'll do the pose together. I've reused these, so they're a little wrinkled, but we can still use them. So this one is mountain pose and it's Easter sunrise. What a beautiful picture. So let's do that one together. We're going to stand in mountain pose. So feel the four corners of each foot really pressing down into the mat and your feet are right under your hips. Shoulders are down and back. Hands are turned out so your palms are facing forward. Long straight spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now take your hands and we're going to add a little bird breath to this. This is what the card said, flying bird breath. So that's inhaling, raising our arms up, touching our palms together, exhaling, bringing the hands down. Then inhaling, reach your arms up, put the palms together, exhale, hands come down. One more time with your own breath. Nice job. Let's see what egg we can find next. Found one. Okay, egg number two. This 
one is April showers. This is a standing forward bend. This guy is super flexible. His hands are all the way down. Whoa, we don't need to do all of that, but we can try to reach our hands down towards our feet. So first start back in that mountain pose. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see better. You wanna inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, try to keep your spine nice and flat as you slowly come down. Kind of like your arms are like rain, right? April showers coming down. Let your head hang heavy. Let your fingertips reach towards the mat. Happy spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly unroll your spine and come up. Let's find our next egg. It blends in a little bit with the mat. Okay. Oh, the next one is baby lamb. So for this, we're going to do cow pose. Usually in cow pose, we say moo, but this time we're gonna make a lamb sound if you want to. Get my poses out. Okay, so come onto your hands and knees, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. You wanna make a nice tabletop pose and then Drop your belly, so you're arching your back, lift your chin up, okay? This is our cow pose, or if you wanna make it this baby lamb pose, you can say bah. Round your spine, tuck your chin, this is cat pose, it's the opposite. And then again, drop your belly, lift your chin, bah. One more time, inhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. Exhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, bah. All right, that was a fun one. Let's do the next pose. My next egg. And this one is baby chick. So we're gonna do squat pose for this chick. So stand in mountain pose with a little bit wider in your feet, your toes turn out, heels turn in, and then drop your bottom down low, bending your knees, come into a squat pose. So normally we go like this, we put our hands together, we press our knees out and open, and we sit up nice and tall. For chick, since this is chick um, for our squat pose, you can make your hands into little wings if you want. If you even want to, for a little challenge, you can add a little, little chick trying to fly, you can pop up, Try it again. One more time. Nice. Even little chick noises help in our fun. All right, let's straighten out our legs, give them a little shake, bending one knee, then the other. Slowly roll up. Let's find the next egg. Hmm, can you find it? Right under here, blends in with the mat. Okay. The next one. Oh, I love these. Ladybug. So for ladybug, we're gonna do child's pose. See how the arms are back in this version of child's pose. So there's a couple different ways of doing child's pose, but this way, coming onto your knees, knees together for this child's pose. Usually they're apart for the different version we practice, but knees together, feet together. You're sitting right on your heels of your feet. And then you're gonna bring your forehead down to the mat and leave your arms down by your side. Your hands are, are like co uh, close to your feet. Okay, and then take three deep breaths in your ladybug pose. Ready? Slowly come up. Let's see my next egg. Oh, I bet you couldn't see this one. It's behind the pillow. Oh, there's something else in here. It was inside the egg. So let's see, this must be butterfly pose. This is a good stretch. So we'll do, it's called cobbler's pose also in yoga. For this one, we just put 
the bottoms of our feet together. Our knees are bent. And then we have a tall, happy spine. We lift the top of our head up like a flower reaching for the sun. And then we gently lean forward. If you want to, you can flap your knees gently like butterfly wings. Make sure you keep that happy spine leaning forward. Notice where you feel the stretch. I feel it right here in my hip. Imagine a beautiful, colorful butterfly. Okay, come up out of the pose, bring your knees back up, and let's find our next egg. Let's see. Okay. This one is the Easter lily flower. For this, we're doing flower pose. So just, uh, just like butterfly pose, where you want to start out with your feet together and your knees bent, except for flower pose, you take your hands and you bring them up under to hold on to the fronts of your legs. So you weave your hands under happy spine, lift your spine up nice and tall, and then try lifting your feet up and even opening them out a little bit. See if you can balance. You're balancing on your sit bones. Happy spine, chest open. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice. Bring those feet down. Let's find our next egg. Okay, this one. This one is rainbow, and for rainbow we're going to do bridge pose, option for wheel pose if you want to do that too. So for bridge pose, a rainbow pose, you're going to come to lie down on your back, knees bent, feet flat on the mat, close to your bottom, bring your heels of your feet close to your bottom, and then pushing your feet into the mat, push your hands down into the mat too, they're out long by your feet. Lift your hips up high so your knees point forward and your hips are lifting and your legs are strong and your hands are pressing in. You're lifting your chest up. Nice job. If you want to do wheel, you can come back down. You can take your hands and lift them up to the ceiling and then back and down, pressing down on either side of your ears. So again, you press your feet down into the mat, but this time you're pressing into your hands and lifting up your bottom, your belly, and your back and your chest. So really push in your hands and feet and lift up. Holding and squeezing, working all those muscles for three, two, one. Slowly come down. I'm gonna do a little squeeze. And then come on up. The next egg was right next to me. Okay. Easter basket is the next one, and for that we're doing boat pose. Oh, I'm going to use a prop for this to see what I can hold in my basket. So I've got... Hmm, Got a big egg, a basket full of eggs, and these carrots. Let me see if I can create an Easter basket from, with my body using those. You can use any props you have around you, too. So you want to sit up on your sit bones, bend your knees, feet flat, lift your spine, happy spine, lean back gently, and then send your feet up. Yeah? Keep your spine nice and tall and see if you can balance something like you're an Easter basket holding on to these things. Arms out, see if you can hold it. Maybe arms up like you're a real basket. For five, four, three, two, 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 one. Ooh, that's a challenging pose. If ever you're in that pose and you need to take a break, just set your feet down and you can get a little break for your back and your belly. 
Okay, let's see. I think we've got two more eggs left. I found one in my mindful bell over there. Let's see, this one is the Easter egg. And for this, we're going to do knees to chest pose. That's exactly what I did after the rainbow pose. That's what my back needed. Okay. So coming onto your back, knees to chest pose. This is like a little massage for our backs. Hug your knees in towards your chest close. Wrap your arms around them. And then just roll like an egg from side to side. A little egg roll. Okay, you can try rolling forward and back to get yourself back up, ready? Nice. Okay, last one. You see it in there in the plant? Nice. Last pose is a resting pose. We're gonna think about the spring breeze. So we're gonna think about our breath being kind of like a spring breeze you would feel or hear in a meadow, okay? We're gonna do this as a quick rest pose because we're gonna go through all those poses again quickly after this. So let's just do a quick rest for our bodies. Let your feet flop out, let your arms be out long by your sides. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out. One more big breath in through your nose. And let it out slowly. Okay. Curl up onto one side and gently press yourself up to a seat. And let's go through those poses again. See which ones you can remember and we'll flow through them a little quicker this time since we don't have to find the eggs this time. Okay, so let's stand up in mountain pose. Remember the first egg was mountain with flying bird breath. So mountain pose, feet press in, ready? Breathe in, lift your arms up. Breathe out, arms down. Keep it going, two more. Awesome, April showers, forward fold. Imagine your arms are like the rain falling down. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Baby lamb, hands and knees. Drop your belly, lift your chin, Baja. Round your spine, tuck your chin. Come into that chick pose, so low squat. Option for your wings, option to hop. Ladybug, child's pose, forehead down, hands down by your side, three deep breaths. One is butterfly pose, feet together, knees bent, happy spine, lean forward, flap those wings. Easter lily, sit up tall, take those hands, weave them under your legs, holding onto the front, and then lift your legs up. Deep breath in, big breath out. Feet down, knees together. Rainbow pose, bridge or wheel, you choose. Press your feet in. You're doing wheel, press your hands in. Lift up. Nice. Slowly come down. Then come up and let's get right into Easter basket. So happy spine again, sitting on your sit bones. Lean back, lift your feet up. Easter basket pose for five, four, I'll count for real this time. Three, two, one, feet down. 
Easter egg, and then right into our rest pose with spring breath. So hug those knees into your chest, wrap your arms around them, and roll from side to side, giving your back a lovely little massage. Okay, let those legs go out long, let those arms go out long. Imagine you're like an Easter chocolate bunny or a chocolate egg, and you're outside and you start melting in the heat and the spring sunshine. Let your whole body just melt into the mat, into the floor. Let every part of your body relax, starting with your feet, your legs, your belly, your chest, your arms, and hands, and your face, and your head. Let everything relax like a big chocolatey puddle. Take a big, deep, full breath in through your nose and sigh it out. <sighs> Wiggle your fingers and toes. Roll your ankles and your wrists in little circles or stretch, whatever you want to do to gently wake your body up. Curl over to one side. And slowly press yourself up. Come back into easy pose. Take your hands together in front of your chest like this, palms together. We call this pose Namaste pose. And Namaste is just a greeting that means the good in me sees the good in you. So after the teacher says the word, the students repeat the word. Big breath in. Let it out. Boys and girls, the good in me sees the good in all of you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me.